Hey, what's going on, my peoples? The casual is back for episode numero dos. And um, we're going to talk a little bit of boxing here in TD Sports Talk. Yes, this is uh, the boxing casual. I am a casual boxing fan. And I'm also uh, the cousin of Tommy D, a.k.a. Thomas from the Bronx. So before I start, um, let me just wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. Today is Sunday, May the 12th. Um, we're approaching the midnight hour. So hopefully all you mothers had a great, great, great Mother's Day. Hopefully you were all treated well as you truly deserve it. Mother's Day should be every day, not just today. But uh, that's just my opinion. And as a casual, you know, that's all that counts is my opinion. And not even at times. But anyway, let's talk about it. Let's talk about uh, what you see on the screen. First, we'll start off with... Uh... Okay, that's for the morning, but I figured it, you know, wake you guys up. But check it out. Um, I know you guys <laughs> are going to roast me and uh, talk about my prediction. I predicted Cambosis to win um, last night, and he got throttled, destroyed. I don't know what he was trying to do. I, I, I see the game plan he was trying to implement, but it just didn't work. He was too slow. Um, Loma, you know, basically toyed at him for a little bit and eventually just uh finished him off. But um, after that, today has been crazy. I, I want to bring this to everybody's attention. I think this is great. I mean, not great in what's been said and what you can see on the screen, but great as in, um, like, wow, it's something to talk about <laughs> for me to casual. I have something to talk about, and um, you see on the screen. You know, Cambosis and Ryan going at it. There's in a bunch of tweets. I only highlighted a few of them. Um, you know, Cambosis was talking, to, you know, saying he's won more belts than him. You know, ever win, he called him a princess, called him a cheating dog. You know, go out of my shield against the best and lose like a man rather than cheat. And then uh, you see, uh, what should we call it, Ryan Garcia saying, I'm sorry, bro, you suck. Like, actually, I KO you in less than five rounds. The truth is the truth, and the truth hurts. But then check this out. He says, I slept with George Cambosis' wife. No cap. Wow. And then followed up. Look at this. Um, you know, he says, uh, Cambosis talking about he gave him my all. He never cherry-picked, stepped you know, stepped into the best and hardest challengers, and Lomo will go down as the best in history. I'm safe. I'm healthy. I tried my hardest to win. Thank you to all the fans. So he's just talking, you know, to his fans, Cambosis. And then uh, Ryan says, bro, shut up. You had one good victory, <laughs> meaning the victory over T.O. And then he says, you've been riding, riding that one victory and haven't done ish since the loss. And But check the one on top. My next goal is to make sure George's wife and, our, and I are together forever and we will raise his kids. That is, that's insane. That's that's nuts. But um real quick, uh just want to put, you know, just in case you guys uh forgot who I am, you know, I, I hate you know hiding behind the screen and stuff, so I'll hide behind a mask. The casual live and in glimming color. And um wanna know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think of Ryan Garcia and Cambosis going back at it? Did Ryan go too far with the tweets? I personally think so. I think that was very, you know, very much in bad taste. You know, I don't I don't agree with stuff like that. Jokes are jokes, but you don't get personal like that. It was I think there's a tweet I should have put it up as well. Cambosis um talking about he'll fight him in a street fight and that, you know, forget boxing. Like he he said he would kill him, like that, that, pretty much. So it's it's now getting serious. Whether or not this is all just uh social media or you know what they call in wrestling or work. Um, or is it the real deal? What do you guys think? This is this is this is crazy, you know. This is what boxing has become. You know, it's, it's all about Twitter and social media, and and the war of the words and stuff. Until somebody goes out there and really gets, you know, knocked out or or, or you know, Christmas is canceled on them. You know what I mean? So, very nuts. Um, this weekend, big fight for the unification for the world heavyweight title. We got uh, Usyk against Fury. I'll be making my prediction later on. Most likely I'll make my prediction that Saturday morning or maybe Friday evening. 
um, right before my cousin goes on with Socrates Palmer and D3. But I just wanted to get on in here and just uh, eat my uh, my crow as I made a very, 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 very bad prediction. And for all you uh, boxing fans out there and all you great channels that know everything about boxing and um, take a dump on guys like me that try our best to talk about boxing, we don't really know what we're talking about over here. But we try to make it a little bit funny. And, uh, you know, but I'm ready for all challenges and debates. You want to debate me, bring it. The boxing casual, the casual boxing fan is ready to take on you. One second. Um, as I can't see, let me just put on my glasses real quick. Oh, wow. I look like freaking uh, Dr. Doom. Oh, no. Ramses from uh, Nacho Libre. <laughs> for all you great boxing channels, you know, I want to salute you. I, lo I love saluting my great boxing channels. This is going to be my theme right here for all you great boxing channels out there that know everything about boxing and pick on the little guys like me. <laughs> um, if you don't know what that means, look it up. But basically, it's saying, good for you. I won't say the rest. Take care, everybody. Hope you guys had a great Mother's Day with your family. And uh, catch you in the next one for episode numero tres, number three. Take care, everybody. <laughs>